Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Asmin's take on Sweet Baby Ink. Many of you probably don't really care about Sweet Baby Ink, but they are making the flavor. They're choosing the characters and protagonists of your favorite video games and Magic the Gathering. So it is a consulting agency that offers consulting about diversity. Now, a lot of what they are saying has been... No, it's debatable. I mean, it is quite debatable, and their supporters have come out and said, you know what, uh, we're going to say even more debatable stuff. So one of the more interesting quotes that I have here is from Alyssa, who said, Hi, you can't be racist against white people. Thanks for tuning in. So that's kind of the debate right now that they're having on Twitter. Twitter is, or X, it's now called X, is a very interesting place, right? It's a place where you have people talk about various things and many people feel very safe there and and so on, right? Um, I do think that in terms of where this is going in the future, there's going to, I mean, the politics, it's only going to get more political. Uh, why do I believe that? Well, it could be the fact that we are going into a election year. Yeah, and then uh, the election looks like it's going to be Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. So if you don't want to see this, if you don't want to figure this out, I mean, I'm you have to understand, like, this is pretty uh, interesting. Um, I think it's worth talking about because it is affecting the game. Uh, it is affecting the people's abilities to play the game, people's abilities to enjoy the game, and whether or not a consulting agency like this even uh, makes sense for Magic the Gathering, where its demographic is, I would guess, 80% white males, or maybe 70% 70, 70 some large amount, uh, then I, I guess introducing some diversity is definitely good and needed, even needed, but to the point where uh, you are saying things online and having these intellectual conversations where you're saying, you're suggesting that white people cannot, you cannot be racist to white people, even though white is a race, right? Just like black, just like yellow, just like brown. I mean, it is kind of a color that you associate with a race. So again, um, it is kind of interesting. You can see that the stats on this uh, is very, very high. Um, I would even suggest that it's not many places you can even have this debate. Uh, not many places you can even have this debate because people are afraid to talk about this. In fact, in my other channel, people are really afraid to talk about it because uh, you you get someone like, um, you get someone like Alyssa and now she's saying, oh, everyone should put their name on everything because, you know, according to Asmin, she's going to dox people. Well, that's what the strategy is, that she wants to dox people. And maybe that is true. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of interesting, right? When you have all that going on, uh, it is... You know, it's a conversation that people don't want to have right now. And it's a conversation that um, I think is important to have. But as we get more political, I would definitely say that we are not going to have, that the conversation will only get more and more and more aggressive. That's where we're heading. And I don't think there's really a way out of it. Um, because in all reality, when you talk about where the culture is heading, culture is is kind of at stake here from companies like Sweet Baby Inc. So it, it does explain to me a lot of things. Um, and even the likes, dislike ratio is almost 50-50 on this type of video. I know why other content creators don't make this video, Magic the Gathering, because half their audience is very liberal. Um, I would imagine even more. I would probably guess that 
Mm, if I had to guess my own audience versus Magic the Gathering, my audience is obviously more conservative. I'd probably say my audience is probably 60% conservatives, 40% liberals. But that's being very kind, right? Uh, on that, that percent percentage, right? I think that's it could sway even much more aggressively the other way sometimes, it feels. But uh, the large majority of Magic players and Magic content creators, they are liberals and they do have a different take than I do about this. And it was surprising to me to see so many people come out and support them from gaming journalists, journalists to uh, just random people on Twitter. Um, there has been a lot of support. Um, people have wanted to support this movement and this idea that things should be more diverse for diversity's sake. Like, I get, and, and you now you understand Aragon is black because, uh, probably because of involvement of this consulting agency. I would be surprised if they did not consult the consulting agency, right? Because that's what they're paying all that money for. But at the uh, same time, you know, or, or am I really that surprised? Is this really something that we need to focus on? I would say yes, because it's one of those scenarios that it's only going, there's only going to be more consulting agencies unless like that, that act and behave like this. And they're very arrogant. I think that's Asmin's um, take on it. They're super arrogant about this type of stuff. And... Yeah, I mean, they are they are really, really, really arrogant. And at the end of the day, uh, it does kind of make sense to me why, why they are such... They are in an echo chamber. A lot of times when they're on Twitter, they're, as Adam said, they're only able to... They set up a feed, which is an echo chamber, that they and the only people that they follow or they communicate, or they mention, can respond to them. So obviously these are positive reinforcement. These are people who like them. But that can... Um... So here's something Asmin posted recently that I'm just going to read to you. I think it's pretty relevant. Anytime you criticize someone online, they will receive harassment, personal attacks. This isn't the fault of the critic. It's just simply what happens. If you want to have no harassment, you must also have no negative critical analysis. You can't have one without the other. Conflating your criticizers with harassers is a comic tactic of the dishonest. They are well aware that people harassing them aren't affiliating with the people criticizing them, but they bring it as a means of delegitimizing their critics. This doesn't mean harassment should be accepted as something that can't chains anyway interesting debate what do you guys think leave me a comment and a like hi guys